We talk a lot about the big brother control grid here in America, and it's not the technology's bad. It's that back doors have been built for decades into computers and the last decade into smartphones. In fact, it was more than 15 years ago that I had major NSA whistleblowers on the broadcast, like Wayne Madsen, to expose it all. And of course, last year, Snowden's film came out and showed how the government can just kill switch power plants, entire electrical grids, not just here, but all over the world. They can turn your car off, you name it. But even if you want to be off the grid, even if you want to have anonymity, in almost every city, they've replaced change uh, parking meters with digital ones where you have to use a credit card and so basically it then uh, tracks where you're going and what you're doing. Now some of the machines previously also had cash with credit card but more and more they only have credit card and now they're talking about phasing those out and making you have a smartphone to be able to basically uh, pay for it with that. So we're moving towards a cashless society. Now why is that so dangerous? A, they track everywhere you go which again is the essence of a police state. At the same time it violates the Fourth Amendment big time and it's all part of this ubiquitous background ambient grid of control with the Internet of Things that Google admits is meant to control the world by knowing mass movements before they take place. That's why if you go look at uh, Amazon a couple years ago, they said, no, we can already with our prime users, you know, people that buy a lot of stuff, with 99.9% pre uh, precision predict what you're going to purchase days before you purchase it and already have it boxed up. Now, the algorithm is how they advertise it to you, what they show, what you do. You have patterns you're not aware of consciously. And people, as you get older, we all get more OCD and more into patterns. And then the neurons start not wiring and rewiring like they normally do when you're young. And that's the beginning of senility. That's why massive Alzheimer's type diseases are even hitting 20-year-olds now. Neurological disorders are exploding. It's not just the lead, the arsenic, the vaccines, which are tied to it. Their insurance, uh, the, the, the inserts say it. It's not just the GMO or the glyphosates in the water. It's watching television literally keeps the brain from creating new, new uh, neuron electrochemical connections. That's because when you see TV, there's no thinking. When you hear spoken word or you read, you have to image it in the mind. That opens up new neurons. But nothing does it as much as new experiences. And I've caught myself not wanting to do new experiences, getting stayed, getting kept, getting to where I was only living in smaller and smaller areas. You need to get out, expand, travel as much as you can, even if it's a walk to the next town. You need to go out and, and have barbecue pits again with your friends. You need to turn the Super Bowl off and actually go out and spend time with friends and family. And you need to realize that like Trojan horses, all this technology has been has been laid out like we're stupid and we're not aware of what's going on. Now again, all these machines still take cash. Some of them don't. Look at this system. Still takes the coins, the cards, but not the cash. But again, a lot of them don't. They're phasing it out. And listen, it's not the cash that's perfect, but cash is the last bastion, the very last bastion of some privacy when it comes to commerce and commerce is life commerce is human activity and now thanks to computerization they're calling for you know twenty a dollar eighteen a dollar an hour minimum wage mcdonald's and all these companies are announcing robots computers replacing humans if you want to have a living wage how about we demand that we have an economy built and based on humans where humans are involved in the economy and needed and not made obsolete as the globalists openly say that we now are so that's my message whether it's Wired Magazine and Why the Future Doesn't Need Us 17 years ago or hundreds of publications a week now telling you the elite have met and decided they're not going to let you just play video games and watch football in the future. They're going to start shutting the world down, shutting down the need for humans, setting up totalitarian grids of control so they can slowly phase us out in a mass culling. And when I talk about the police state, I'm not anti-cop. I mean the authoritarian control of the state through these systems. So understand that this is the real plan of the globalists, and this is what we're fighting. That's why when Donald Trump talks about it in his, in his uh, first inaugural address, he says, we gotta make it about humans again. We gotta make the power back to you again. We have to build a world for people again. They're building a world that's obsolescent. And I get the public's dumbed down and fat slobs, and, and, and none of us are perfect, and people have gotten decadent. But the globalists have greased the skids for us to be so fallen. And then you, you look at what they're into, all the weird crap they do on average, these are really bad people. You know. Steve Jobs didn't let his kids have iPads, but he wants yours to have them. Zuckerberg didn't let his you know, family have them. He wants to be on a 700-acre thing in Hawaii and try to take his neighbor's land. He's God while well, he lectures you all day about being nice to the minorities. These are the big fat cat pigs, hundreds of billionaires lined up against Trump. One rich guy that understands how the system works, and it freaks him out, and he wants prosperity. That's what he wants. He wants you to understand the truth. Now, again, research the technocracy, research the, the Internet of Things, research that they're not just predicting what you're going to buy before you buy it. They're influencing you to do that. And you're like, well, that's advertising, Alex. Yes, but it's being done at a subliminal, hyper level, integrated on so many fronts. And it's, it's unbelievable because once you can predict the future in mass movements, 
then you're able to add stimuli and control it. And I said this 18, 19 years ago because I was told this by NSA whistleblowers on and off record. Just three years ago, Google came out and admitted their original founding meetings in the late 90s where they were meeting with the U.S. government. They're like, we don't need a new search engine. We already have one. That's what the NSA is. That's what search engines are is NSA technology for the public, just in the, in the public you know, zone. They search our lives, our phones, our records with, with their own real Google search. You understand? That's what Google is. It was an NSA technology. That, that's all it did it. And, and they said, no, this is an AI system that plugs in to billions of people feeding at their hopes, their dreams, their art, their literature, and the computer is the computer tied to us, harnessing humanity and then controlling us like a team of mules. You understand that? It's the end of free will. You have free will, but you have to decide you want free will, and you have to be aware of what's happening, and then self-direct yourself, and, and direct yourself off history and family and culture, and the real integrated, compressed memory of all the people before you that is in you. And that's where the answer is. That's what God's given us to resist this. And this, 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 this attack on humanity by these globalists that want to seize the future and totally control uh, the species in a very jealous, wicked way is only going to cause us to metamorphosize into the next level. So this is a very powerful time to be alive right now, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let them steal the future from you with a bunch of stupid slogans and brainwashing. Because the state is a system currently designed to dehumanize you and your family. We're seeing revolutions from the UK to the US to other areas to try to get some pro-human governing back in. Doesn't mean it's perfect, but it's not out to get you. We must disclose everything. We must expose it all. I'm Alex Jones. This is the Info War. Hey, brother. How you doing? Yeah, I'm a big fan. Can I shake your hand? Sure. sure. We're, we're rolling live, brother. Oh. No, it's all right. I'm not talking to Mr. Walker. Uh, I'm just letting you know, big guy. Hey, who's this lovely lady? This is Monique, my girlfriend. Hey, but, nice uh, to meet you. Well, you're a lucky man. I've been, I've been watching your videos all day. Well, I, uh, big well, fan. We're live right now. Talking hey, about. right on. Infowars. <laughs> you want to say something to the folks watching? Oh, boy. <laughs> we were actually just talking about some of your... Uh, well, your podcast that you just did with Joe. Oh, yeah, that was big. That was a big did one. Did you know that uh, I talked to Joe today? I probably He didn't tell me not to say it, but I'm just going to say it. Uh, he thinks they censored it. They, they, they didn't put it up the first day. Oh, yeah. It was already record-breaking. It was a big firestorm, so iTunes had to put it up. I mean, it was on YouTube. That's crazy. Yeah, but it was, it was a record podcast already. Yeah, no, it was a big deal. Everybody was really excited about that. Only problem was the lighting. It was like monster lighting. Yeah. Only, that's all right. Yeah, well, it's not the... Uh... Not the big studio, but... Well, listen, you guys have a fabulous evening. Hey, thanks a lot, man. It's great to nice see to you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Woo! All right, anyways. <laughs> there's a massive awakening taking place. This happens everywhere. And, and... But about a third of the people look at me like they hate me. About a third run up and love me. And another third just don't... They don't speak English, so I can't talk to them. Uh, and that's why we need everybody to translate what we're doing into Spanish, Chinese, everything. But you're not translating what I'm saying. What I'm telling you is the truth, folks. This is real. The globalists all admit it. They think you're so stupid. Or I guess metaphysically, they've got to admit their plan to you like a vampire has to first tell you what he's going to do before you invite him in. He'll say it in a riddle, like, oh, I've come over, smelled that delicious, what is that cooking? That's some type of blood pie? And you're like, oh, what a nice tuxedo. Here, come on into my home. Well, I think I will come into your home. Thank you. I'll be back later this evening for that blood pie. They, they have to tell you how they're going to slowly kill you and your family and enjoy watching you all stunted and dying and you know, imploding. Uh, it's, it's just amazing. All right, listen. Now I go back to the family. And thank you, dude, for coming out and helping me here. I want to thank all the rest of the crew. We're moving forward. Big things are happening. And uh, the battle is joined. Infowars.com. We talk a lot about the big brother control grid here in America. And it's not the technology's bad. It's that back doors have been built for decades into computers and the last decade into smartphones. In fact, it was more than 15 years ago that I had major NSA whistleblowers on the broadcast, like Wayne Madsen, to expose it all. And of course, last year, Snowden's film came out and showed how the government can just kill switch power plants, entire electrical grids, not just here, but all over the world. They can turn your car off, you name it. But even if you want to be off the grid, even if you want to have anonymity, in almost every city, they've replaced change uh, parking meters with digital ones where you have to use a credit card and so basically it then uh, tracks where you're going and what you're doing now some of the machines previously also had cash with credit card but more and more they only have credit card and now they're talking about phasing those out and making you have a smartphone to be able to basically uh, pay for it with that so we're moving towards a cashless society now why is that so dangerous a they track everywhere you go which again is the essence of a police state at the same time it violates the fourth amendment big time and it's all part of this ubiquitous background ambient grid of control with the internet of things that google admits is meant to control the world by knowing mass movements before they take place